in two years, I have completely changed from being a paper pencil, listen to the teacher, recite back, to discovery and, and estimation. I mean, just all kinds of neat things. Yes. So it's a whole different ballgame. And so I have four. Mine must be five. Oh. Oh. Multiplication, same thing. Yeah. You know. What I've learned through this program is there are so many ways to get it, and I think knowing more ways to do it can appeal to more kids and see the freedom of finding their own way to find the answer. I have to admit, I was more of the teacher who stood up front and explained how math, the math problems worked and things, and then I expected the kids to follow along and get their little work papers and books and do it. This has really changed my thinking. I mean, now we're letting the kids explore math. And I have learned to have fun with math. I have learned uh, to look for problems that I don't understand so that we can together figure out how it makes sense. So then they can say like first grade B or something like that? One of the lead teachers I was just talking to a moment ago when we were standing in line was saying, um, you, if you came into my classroom today, you would see such a huge difference from two years ago because two years ago, I would have been doing all the talking and saying, yes, that's right, no, think about that again, and just moving on. And now you'll see that they're doing most of the talking and I just jump in every now and then to stimulate the conversation some more. Well, yeah, I think they, they're a lot more confident and they feel a lot more um, freedom, I think, in trying out new things and kind of stepping away from their old way of doing things and knowing that, you know, I, I can do this and I can do this well. And every now and then something would really uh, uh, resonate with them, like uh, methods of asking kids questions without giving away the answer or new ways of looking at algebra. We gave them this one problem called tug of war, which has you know, a bunch of tug of war games and it's got like elephants, horses and dogs or something like that and it shows uh, which one's balanced and which one wins and then it gives you an unknown scenario and it says which one will win now. And it doesn't look like algebra but you can turn it into X's and Y's and inequalities and it becomes algebra. So that was one of those aha moments. Or are they still staying at the same level? So how do you make some of these ideas richer for your students? And we have now been awarded another grant to work with them for the next three years. This is uh, a grant that will be supporting our work with teachers in grades four through eight. And um, we're going to have several strands. We are continuing the strand on fostering algebra thinking that we have in the current grant, but we're also incorporating new strands. Uh, we're going to be working on integrating technology as a tool for learning mathematics and we're also going to be working on project-based learning. Uh, the new grant has also partnerships with uh, engineers and scientists, so we're trying to bring uh, real life to the math classroom. And so with all of these strands, we hope that we will consolidate what we've done in, with the current grant and push everyone forward so that we can better prepare our students in Indiana. If you look at what this was compared to 7 times 37, that's an extra...